Hey, what's up? This is uh, JT The Source here. Blog Talk number four, Blocks Magazine. I'm here with the lovely lady, Tracy Stafford. If you're not familiar with the name, 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 Tracy, what's going on? Just let them know, man. I mean, tell them a little bit briefly who briefly. you are, uh, what you're doing. She's so humble. That's uh -uh. the crazy part. I, I don't like all this, <laughs> but, um, you know, we're just doing our thing here at Dubai Nightclub. We have two locations. We have Dubai Nightclub as well as the Bedroom VIP Lounge. So, you know, we're the largest black-owned club in Baltimore. We're very excited and proud of that. But not only are we a club, we're a concert venue. You know, when I started about six, seven years ago, my dream was to do intimate settings for hip-hop. Because no one was really doing it. It was only the arena, and a lot of artists just didn't want to come here because of so-called the danger factor, which we're cool here, but they would believe in the hype. So, you know, I would come to this venue, and it was called Redwood Trust back Redwood then. Redwood Trust. And um, throw shows, like I had Lil Wayne here, we had T.I. here, and that's when they verse was just starting out. So I was getting it for like $12,000. It was a steal, but it was a great look, and it started the energy that we needed for this town. And it's funny, I was just talking the other day, we did a show over, at, as we know, the Sonar Now, but it was a parking garage. Yes. Like, they didn't have a concert venue, so I was like, you know, we can take this garage and make it like a New York undercover, un you know, underground set, and it, it had nothing. We bought porta potties and put stage in there. <laughs> and my boy managed Floetry. So he was like, I can get you Floetry really cheap. You know, only for $4,000. And they performed for like an hour and a half. It was sick. But, you know, again, that started the whole vibe. Now Sonar is a nightclub. They fixed it up, has a stage. They have all big, all, a lot of big artists go there now. But, you know, so I guess I'm showing my age. But that's kind of how we met years ago. Wow. Right? With Juel yeah. Santana and yeah. all that stuff, right? She did the Can't Feel My Face tour. And um, I just want y'all to understand something. Um, she made history in my book. The biggest album of Lil Wayne's career was Carter Three, and this brother came from New York City doing 106 in Park and came and performed that same night at Baltimore Arena. That, that night cool. that he dropped that album. That was cool. It was bananas, I can just tell you that. So my thing is, let's fast forward six or seven years later, where okay. you at now, okay. in 2011. What, what what can we expect from you? Because you've, you've capitalized, you always show love to other promoters that's up and coming. You're basically <laughs> a lot of inspiration to a lot of cats. Whether they want to admit or not, I even pay homage to them. I was promoting a long time ago, but I got to give her her props. I mean, Thanks. you're one of the hardest it's workers. tough job, isn't oh, it? Oh, I know. <laughs> Top fam, you need to understand. You heard it from uh, It is, is not it easy. They Can think it's the promoters? easiest hustle. It's not easy at all. It's very, very, it's a lot of work. It's a lot, a of, lot work. of work. And you don't always make out. A lot of times you lose. Yes. I know my first year, I probably lost 90% of the time, but I was making relationships. I went into it knowing that I didn't know that many people. I mean, I did work at Motown. I did work at the radio station. But, you know, again, I didn't have that intimate relationship with folks. So I had to, like, pay my way. They didn't want to come here. They were like, well, Trey, I'll come to D.C., but I, I'm not doing the Baltimore thing. So I had to give them extra just to get them to come, you know. So now, like, going forward, the next new thing I'm working on now is a reality show. It's called The Promoter. And this is based on what we do with the shows and here at the club. Um, we've been working on a show for gosh, for years now. We finally got the energy and the buzz that we need. We just finally finished the couple episodes that the network asked for. So um, we're in final stages this week. I think we'll have the final draft next week. So look out for it. I'll give you more information. That's, that's, that's what's going what's on. So time? my next thing is um, you got one of my favorite rappers coming to town. Which one is that? Jeezy. Okay, okay, okay. And, that's my uh, boy. And so... What's up with that TM 103? Where's my album at? We waiting on that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he's got a lot going on. I was thinking of that, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, but trust me, he's going to come with the fire when he does. Uh, we all, I'm knows. still bumping all his mixtapes he got out right now. I mean, I got he can one go for hours. He can go for hours. You know, he's the man. So definitely, um, you get a lot of support. You get a lot of love. Um, there are some pitfalls and downfalls, I know, being a promoter, mm -hmm. dealing with some of these artists. Mm. Not gonna go into their names, but um, oh, no. how do you, how do you overcome those things? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't. I mean, it's because just... you gotta remember something. Mm -hmm. I look at you as you built your like you said 90, when you first started ninety percent of it, you lost. So you went from here and then you crossed over there, mm -hmm. and to get here you built your reputation. Mm -hmm. With, to, to take with care of yes, with the artists. And, Not yeah. so much locally, and I hate to say it that way because, you know, you're as good as your last hit here. 
And you know, I can go to Atlanta, Miami, LA, Texas. I know everybody. I'm cool. Yeah. I can yeah, yeah. train come yeah, on in here. It's like, you know, it's hit and miss. So I, I can't say that I have all the love, but right. you know, as long as you bring them what they want, they love you. And right. you know, I just keep trying to do that. I try to give them a good product and try to guarantee that the artist is actually going to show. Because we had so many times people with those shows or put an artist on a flyer and they had no intention on that no, person coming. Right. They were just trying to get your money. Right. So we had to knock all those walls down too, which was a right. big challenge, you know? Oh, we definitely know about that. That, that one happened <laughs> to be the janky promoters. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm teasing you about that movie all. I'm like, God, who will you imitate? <laughs> Had him in the hood with the bread. I was laughing. Oh, That's, that was funny. Yeah, that, that was a good was one. Was, was Ice Cube did his thing with that. Yeah. But uh, back back to that. Congratulations on the reality show. Congratulations on everything you're thank doing. You. Um, Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you so much. I'm gonna tell them how old you are. You gotta do that. Never mind. Forty. <laughs> oh, see, that's good. And he looks great, right? Yeah, Look. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, um, you know what they say about us? We don't age. Nah, we would just get fine like wine. <laughs> Okay, how about that? <laughs> we were talking about it. So, listen, uh, I need you to give a big shout out to Will Blacks from Blacks Magazine to see you on family, if you could, Tracy. Big shout out. Hey, I, she I will think become a great. June issue. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm so, I love the to see Black card. business. I think it's incredible, and I'm there all the way. I'm 100% behind you. Anything I can do to support you guys, I love it. We got to get this money while we can, you know? And definitely a big shout out to my man, Top Fan, Tommy Fly. Oh, he wanted to meet you. He's one of your fans. Oh, well, because I'm he's fan an up and coming promoter. Really? So oh, good luck to you. To you. <laughs> <laughs> Put the helmet on. <laughs> All right, this is Blocks Magazine, Blog Talk, known before signing off. I appreciate Tracy. She got to get back Thank to work. You. She got to make sure those shows is popping and everything's yes. coming. No, God, he's next. Nice. Uh, we, got, well, we got one more exclusive I want to ask you. Oh, okay. Are you bringing Lil Wayne from Carter Four? That I don't know. Um, you know, he's out of the line nation now, so it's kind of difficult to, yeah. yeah. I told him, I was like, I guess we won't be working. He was just here the other day, you know, he came with um, Nikki when we had Nikki Minaj. Right, I know. I, I, yeah, and I teased him. Oh, man, him all big time. shout out to E, the bar man. That's my man. We go way back. Oh, yeah, years. Eric's the man. And a uh, big shout yeah. out to Janae for helping me put this uh, interview together. Yes, that's my Tracy's. assistant. She's number one. But yeah, I, I would love to work with Wayne. I talk to Cortez about it all the time. But Cortez you know, is a good dude. That's my man. That's his manager. But at the end of the day, when you offer somebody $50 million, you know, I want him to get his money. So I, I I'll want, just do the after party. I just want I just want to ask one more thing okay. because it's, it's been bothering me and it's okay. not really you. Okay. It's just on the promoter's hand and everything like that because you guys are really trying to provide that nightlife. But don't you think the city of Baltimore got to loosen up or something? They got to help us out because they came into one side and they're not really helping you guys. And they're giving y'all a lot of flat and push that I feel. And well, I saying, feel like it's a push-pull thing, right. and you have to fight your way through it. Just like with Baltimore, you know, you have to really fight for your ground. Um, unfortunately, it's more of us here. It's like almost 70% African-American. Mm. But on the flip side, we have to act right, too. Right. You know, I mean, all clubs have fights, but we take fights to a whole other no, level, no. you know. So we need more venues, but in order to get more venues, we have to prove that we can handle the ones we have. Right. And not that we have to prove anything. I shouldn't use that word, but at the end of the day, it kind of comes down to that. Okay. You know, so but I do believe that we need to get a fair shape, and I think this has been a starting ground for that because we've proven them that we can come together on a large scale with thousand folks and really have a good time. And if we continue to do this, we'll get more venues. We will, but again, we gotta act right. We gotta stop killing each other. Right. We yeah. gotta stop. You gotta know? stop all that. You know, walk into the square and just fight. When I was coming up, dudes just fight. You might get a black eye, but you got to live. You live the same day. <laughs> yeah, man, you just fight. You know, watch stuff, man. Yeah, but definitely. Uh, any shout outs you want to give Tracy? You know what hey, I'm saying? Hey, just shout out to my town, Baltimore. And please look forward to the television show. We're really excited. We want to show Baltimore in a positive light, the promoter. Okay, and where can they find you? Well, I can't give you that yet. I mean, we, I mean, the Facebook. Oh, yeah, Twitter. you know, we have Dubai-nightclub.com. Okay. I'm on Facebook, Tracy Stafford. Um, Twitter, I'm not up on it. My assistant does it, but I do have a page. I don't know anything about it. I'm sorry. Got, I'm, I'm a school Tracy on it. In the bedroom. I'm VIP old school, lounge. but I got 500 followers com. right now. Really? Okay, well, I'm going to get some. <laughs> I don't think I have any, but I'm going to work on it. All right, we're going to have to get on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got uh, any other sites out there, Tack? You know, that's the king of the sites right there. Uh, What's other sites they go? Lincoln, High Five. Lincoln, Someone High Five. Someone texted me about the sleep Skype. thing. I gotta get with that. I haven't got on that. Skype, Uvu. So one. we have yeah, two websites and that's all I have. Okay. So. Okay. okay. All right, we out of here. Stay tuned. This is what we're doing. Uh, June issue. 
Tracy Stafford, Dubai, Devin, if you're in Baltimore or in the DMV, come and check her out. Yeah, good She's time. Doing it. Thanks. All right. This is a touchdown entertainment exclusive.